Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. Uh, my hair is an absolute mess. Anyways, in today's video, I next I want to jump into Google Google Bard. Uh, you've probably heard of it if you're in the AI uh, and ChatGPT uh, niche, or these are something you're, this is something you're interested in. I've just started using Google Bard. I know it's been around for a while, but I wanted to show you guys how you can use it to easily find uh, not only niches for websites, uh, whether you're going for affiliate marketing or display sites or even services, uh, but how to use it to find keywords as well. So right away, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Bard fully to find a niche for an affiliate site. I'm gonna uh, verify the keywords uh, using SEMrush and Google search. Uh, so basically, uh, you're just gonna start with a simple prompt. Please, always say please to the, to the AI just in case uh, some Terminator stuff happens. Please provide a list of 10 lower competition affiliate niches that I can create a site around. Now this is going to populate. Uh, you kind of have to go with Google's own, Google's own discretion here for lower competition. And you're going to have to kind of understand the basics of keyword research and how to find low competition keywords. Uh, there's not really any low competition niches overall left. Uh, but if you know some basic keyword research, you'll be able to find some uh, lower competition keywords that you can target. I don't really like any of these. I mean, pet supplies is so overdone, so is outdoors, so home office furniture. Uh, that's interesting. And it even says here there's a growing demand for ergonomic and stylish uh, office home office furniture. So with this, just take this niche, right? And you can just decide right now. I'm gonna build a niche site around uh, home office furniture and accessories. And let's just click, let's just check Amazon to see what kind of products there are. Home office uh, desks, for example. Yeah, so these aren't that bad. I'm gonna assume the niche is a few percent. So if you can sell you know, a few desks per day uh, on your site and a bunch of other products, you could do all right. So from here, we would say, uh, please provide a list of 10 uh, core topics. Now with the topics, this is gonna give you the kind of topical relevance, that's, that, uh, that semantic relevance that you want to start building your site around. So you wanna focus building your site. Uh, you want these keywords to be based on topics that you can build silos out of or content hubs uh, just to make the site seem more authoritative, more relevant, uh, just to give yourself some more expertise uh, to show to Google that you, can, that you have an idea of what you're talking about. Uh, and again, Super easy prompt, and we'll see what Google Bard comes out with. I'm actually quite new to Bard, so I don't know how good it's gonna be, and already it looks amazing. Um, I'll have to do a comparison video with ChatGPT, but already this looks pretty cool. You know, desk essentials, ergonomic lighting, this is fantastic. All right, so these would be the core topics of your site. From here then, you can go with ergonomic essentials, right? So then you can just say to Google, please provide me with a list of, I don't know how many it's gonna do, but let's say 50 unique keywords. Uh, let's say three words or more related to ergonomic essentials for home office, what was it, furniture and accessories that I can create blog posts and affiliate guides for. Now adding these keywords like affiliate guides, uh, unique, three, or, three words or more for those long tails, just helps to give you a better list, a more curated list, as opposed to just something too broad that you're gonna to have to do a lot of research just to further uh, whittle down. And we'll see if Google can throw out 50 of these. Uh, this is actually incredible. This is really fast and there's some amazing ones here like best ergonomic office, wait, there was even a better one I think. Um, like ergonomic wrist rest. Yeah guys, these are actually some amazing keywords. So from here, you could start by putting these into a Google Sheet, right? And we can just uh, open that now. Sheets.new, boom. This works, yeah. So from here, you can just put these into a sheet and actually that was gonna be a new topic. I might actually start this niche. <laughs> uh, so from here, you can start going through these. And this is all without any paid tools so far, right? So from here, uh, you can just see using Google if any of these are relevant, right? So the way I would do that is 
kind of choose a random one. Uh, best ergonomic office chairs for short people. Google will tell you completely for free if this is something people search, right? So yeah, so right now, just from a quick Google search completely for free, you can see that there is, Google does have demand for best ergonomic office chair for short people. And actually the fact that Reddit shows up, this is probably more from the helpful content update, this means if you build an authoritative enough site or your content's good enough, you can easily rank on the first page for a post like this, right? This post is from some super bootleg random uh, blog post or some blogger, and you know what that is, um, a YouTube video showing up, right? So this is actually an incredible keyword and there's a post from 2021. I bet on the page it says 2023, they just forgot to update the, no. So guys, right off the bat, this is a really good keyword from Google, uh, from Google Bard. And let's just put it into SEMrush and see if it shows anything. You're gonna have to kind of fiddle around with the keywords, uh, with the keyword, best ergonomic chair for short people. Uh, if you're using SEMrush, just to see kind of what it's gonna, there. Yeah, so it shows a US volume of 70, global volume of, uh, or US volume of 30, global volume of 70, very low keyword difficulty. So this is a pretty relevant keyword, uh, just straight from Google Bard. And even though it has, only says it has 30 views per month, that's gonna get a few hundred uh, clicks per month if you do rank it. Uh, so from here, right, now you have this list and we went with uh, this keyword, that's pretty good. Then let's see if Google Docs, or Google Docs, if Google Bard can create, whoopsies. Um, let's see if Google Bard can actually create a blog post and let me just quickly open a new, uh, let's say create a 700 word blog post about Best ergonomic officers. Now I just want to see what it does. So what kind of output we have from Google Bard? Uh, that's interesting. So it's running through its own search. There's no way this is going to be 600 words. It's actually amazing that it's giving you the actual um, chairs. I don't know if it's pulling these off Google or I mean, if these are on Amazon. I mean, some of them are. Yeah, there's no way this is 700 words. But this is not a bad start, right? for just some super easy, super quick keyword research. And so instead what you can do is just say, uh, you can pop this over into ChatGPT or GPT Playground, OpenAI Playground. But what you can also do is uh, write an outline for a blog post, an affiliate guide actually. Guide about, boom. And this should give you a really good basis uh, of, yeah, look at this, right? It even gives you the top five chairs. I don't actually know if ChatGPT does that. So provide an outline for, I'm sure now with the search by Bing, it's going to give you the, uh, the top five chairs, but I'm just curious if, uh, as to what it comes out with, because the fact that this gives you this saves you a lot of research from Amazon. Uh, and if you set it up in Google, Play, if you set it up in the OpenAI Playground, you can even have uh, Amazon, or you can even have ChatGPT add links to the uh, content, the affiliate links, if you upload a CSV, just based on these, uh, those five products. Let's see if, yeah, look at that. ChatGPT doesn't even give you any, um, any solid recommendations. That's actually incredible. Uh, that's a really cool find guys. I did have not tried that out, but that is really cool. So yeah, that's quickly, quickly how you find uh, niches and, and keywords for your affiliate site. I would see you would apply this, and this is just 50 keywords just for ergonomic. I might even start a niche site for this right now. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. This is really cool. Uh, I'll probably be making some Google Bar videos uh, soon because this is actually quite interesting. As always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any comments down below. Some of you have reached out asking if you uh, asking to book a call with me or just for some more in-depth information about your website. Uh, so there's a link below if you made it this far and you want to book a call. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.